it's Dr. Adam. Let's talk about molecular geometry and the VSEPR theory. Did you know that molecules invented geometry? Well, they did. Before molecules, there were only spheres. It is important to understand the way that the particles in a molecule are arranged in space because the arrangement of the particles will affect the properties and behavior of the molecule. One theory to account for these different behaviors is VSEPR, or valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. From atomic theory, we know that each atom contains a nucleus that is surrounded by an electron cloud. These negatively charged electron clouds repel each other and cause the molecule to adopt a geometry with the atoms as far apart from each other as possible. The repulsive behavior of electron clouds is similar to how magnets with the same polarization repel each other and want to reduce their energy by being far apart. Empirically, we can understand VSEPR using these rules. Lone pair repulsion is stronger than bond pair repulsion. The repulsion exerted by a bond pair decreases with increasing electronegativity of the ligand as the bond becomes more ionic. And finally, multiple bonds repel more strongly than single bonds. We can understand these rules in terms of electron pair domains, or areas where electrons are most likely to be found, such as the double bonds in this carbon dioxide molecule. Here, the repulsion of the bonds is minimized because they are 180 degrees apart or directly opposite. We know that electrons are not static and can be found with high probability around an atomic center. The area between two covalently bonded atoms is called a bond pair domain and the electrons are largely confined to the space between the atoms. Lone pair domains are not restricted in this way as there is no bond formation and thus it spreads out as much as possible around the atom and has a greater angular spread than a bonding pair domain. This causes angles between lone pairs and bond pairs to be larger than between bonding pairs. The second empirical rule that we encountered earlier stated that bond pairs repel less as their ligand's electronegativity increases. We can see this experimentally when we compare methane and chloroform, as the angle between the carbon-hydrogen bonds increases, also increasing the space between the hydrogen atoms. The bond angle increases because increasing the electronegativity of the ligand from hydrogen to chlorine decreases the size of a bonding pair domain, causing it to occupy less space in the valence shell of the central atom, in this case carbon, thus decreasing the bonding angles. The final empirical VSEPR rule that we encountered was that multiple bonds repel more than single bonds. We can see this experimentally in the C2 family of alkenes, alkenes, and alkynes. The bond angles increase from 111.2 degrees for single bonds up to 180 degrees for triple bonds. VSEPR is a powerful theory that can allow us to predict the shapes of molecules. If we make use of the AXE system of electron counting, we can determine the numbers of bond and lone pair domains around a central atom. A is the central atom, X is any ligand an atom bonded to A, and E represents any lone pairs. If we sum X and E, we obtain the steric number for the molecule. For methane, we have the formula CH4, which in terms of AXE is AX4E0, because we always have A, and there are four hydrogen atoms or ligands bonded to A. We normally omit E if there are no lone pairs, giving us a steric number of 4. In the case of ammonia, NH3, there are three ligand hydrogen atoms and one lone pair, which when expressed in terms of AXE is AX3E with a steric number of 4. Here are some common geometries and their steric numbers. For steric number 2, only the linear geometry exists. For steric number 3, there are two geometries, trigonal planar with no lone pairs, and bent with one lone pair. For steric number four, three geometries exist, tetrahedral, trigonal planar, and bent. For steric numbers five, six, and seven, there are also some unique geometries, trigonal bipyramidal, 
seesaw with one lone pair, and T-shaped with two lone pairs exist for steric number 5. For steric number 6, there are octahedral, square-based pyramid, and square planar. And then for steric number 7, we have pentagonal bipyramid with zero lone pairs, pentagonal pyramid with one lone pair, and pentagonal planar with two lone pairs. More exotic structures exist with higher steric numbers, but these are rare. Let's check comprehension.